I was looking at an article that kind of questions on why do families fall apart? And I thought this was a good topic for us to touch on. Because a lot of times when we ask people, you know, why did they get divorced or what's the situation at home, the families have fallen apart, they kind of name something that happened, right? Misunderstandings, it's um, disagreements or problems of finances on how to raise the kids or different situations. And those things are tangible and real. When you go beneath the surface, you know I'm all about going to the root cause, right? When you go beneath the surface, what is it really about? Is it really about the money? Is it really about kind of who or how we say we should raise the kids and what choices? Because even if we disagree, we don't have to be disagreeable. It doesn't have to cause a rift. Doesn't mean everybody doesn't have a right to their opinion and doesn't voice it and kind of everybody discuss it and, you know, maybe have a third party, you know, depends on what it is, kind of help you know, moderate and mediate the situation if the goal is the family is committed to staying together and valuing each other. But I think that's the key, that we lose a respect and a value for each other. We start to take each other for granted. So instead of complimenting, let's say, the child for loading the dishwasher. So thank you for loading the dishwasher. Great job loading the dishwasher. I don't know what I would do without you because, you know, mommy doesn't like loading the dishwasher. I really appreciate the fact that you do that. However you put it. Thanks for taking out the garbage, love. Wow. But we have the mentality. That's your job. Why should I appreciate you for doing what's your responsibility or you're just contributing? You should be thankful you have a roof over your head or, you know, that's the attitude that we start to take when we're, we want to have children and babies. We think, oh, we're going to love them. We're just going to, you know, I want to be married and I'm just going to adore this person. And then we get them and everything kind of loses its shiny, right? No longer the wonder and the awe and the appreciation. Now we just start taking each other for granted. And I think that's the huge thing that we need to take a step back and stop automating, stop outsourcing, stop allowing us to sit there on devices when we're having meals instead of saying, okay, we're going to connect. So for those families and for, that have noticed like this drifting apart that take proactive steps, they come back together. As much as your kids may say and quibble and have a fit that you took away the device during dinner but consistently when that's done correctly because sometimes we do it with the attitude and in, in, in a way that just makes the situation worse but when we're really deliberate in how and do it in a healthy way kids will start talking opening up having conversations trusting coming to you with situations that are going on that exists and it's possible to regain even if it's been lost but you need help and a strategy. Be purposeful. Number one, to recognize that that's the situation. Number two, to say, okay, what can I do about it and take proactive steps? And number three, if what you're doing isn't working, seek help to get to that point because the ultimate goal is to restore the connection, restore your family. Are we going to allow it? Are you going to allow it to just continue as usual? That's just how they are. They don't talk and we're seeing suicide, self-harm. All of these situations, the shootings, the families falling apart, that the kids may be there, they may not do themselves any harm that you're aware of. They don't necessarily have to go violently expressing themselves externally. But then a lot of these kids are growing up and they're disconnecting from their parents. They want nothing to do with them. They, they you know, mom, they may, you know, do something out of an obligation, but it's not out of love and appreciation. Difference that they're doing things for obligation, but not because they love and appreciate you. That is something that is nurtured throughout their life. We don't just necessarily want to have the expectation, well, I'm the parent or I'm the adult, therefore you should. That's what causes us to fall apart. Just the perspective and the approach that we bring to things. So that's my two cents for today. Hopefully that adds value and that that can spark um, some conversation. So do you... Find that and feel as though your family is drifting apart. Are you taking some steps? And what steps are you taking? Right? So let's start a bit of a conversation. And I look forward to the engagement that this person from this video or anything else that comes to mind. Put it in the comments. Looking forward to hearing from you.